Good day viewers and listeners and welcome to the Progress Report. In this episode you will hear from the Canadian High Commissioner to Guyana, His Excellency Mark Berman. The High Commissioner is dedicated to promoting and facilitating trade and investment between Guyana and Canada as the Chief Spokesperson for Canada in Guyana. Proud to represent Canadian foreign interests but also Guyanese opportunities uh, and I see that as one of my one of my roles and one of my jobs and after two and a half years here uh, it's something which uh, I, uh, um, I, I, I spend a lot of time uh, um, uh, doing. Uh, it is no surprise that Guyana is on an ascendancy um, and the economy is booming uh, partly because of oil and gas but uh, I think one of the things that the government is articulating very well is the desire to ensure that that is a driver for building across the board in a number of different sectors. And you touched on some of them, agri-food technology, green tech, uh, tourism, infrastructure and other areas. Um, I, I think um, the first thing I would say is that from a Canadian perspective, Guyana as a market is well known for in the natural resource, resource extraction. So on the mining side, Guyana has been a, a feature in Toronto at the PDAC conference annually. There are many Canadian companies that are already here and have been here for many years, uh, mining gold and, and, and other natural resources. And I would argue as well in the oil and gas sector as well, um, uh, most in the Canadian oil and gas sector are aware and familiar uh, with, uh, with what's going on in Guyana. Um, and so there's uh, a relationship with uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, which has a similar oil and gas sector. I think there are many investors in Canada who are not aware of the opportunities in Guyana, um, in agri-food and agriculture, uh, in tourism, uh, and in some of the other areas, uh, green technology, um, that's something which uh, is, is slowly changing, but I think there needs to be more undertaken both on our side as well as the government of Guyana and I would argue the private sector of Guyana who needs to visit Canada, make the pitch and explain to the Canadian market the opportunities that exist here. I think uh, the incentives are, are uh, the, the right incentives. I think the government has done a very good job uh, um, on, on tax incentives, on opportunity for, for land. On uh, So I think the, the thing about incentives is it, it's a very subjective uh, question. Uh, what is lucrative to some investors may not be for others. It will depend on the market, the sector they're involved in, the size of the company whether they have experience working here or not. So what may seem as very lucrative for some companies may not be as interesting for others. They're looking for different things. But after saying that, I would say that, uh, that uh, you know, the government working with Go Invest as well as with our trade commissioners, uh, um, uh, 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 shop as well, as I would argue, for instance, the Canagana Chamber of Commerce have increasingly doing a good job of promoting some of these incentives. So, can they do more? Sure. You know, every business will tell you they want more, but I think it's the right, they're going in the right direction. Um, I think that the infrastructure objectives of the government is remarkable, and the opportunity to open up this country with everything from bridges to roads to a new power grid to a deep water port to new airport terminals uh, is incredible. Hospitals, hotels. So yes, there are huge opportunities. I would say, and this is this is this is to a Canadian audience, there is uh, competition because indeed there are many investors who have come to Guyana understanding that there are opportunities. So uh, some of the traditional partners that Guyana has worked with in the past, uh, we're no longer alone. There are many people who are looking at uh, Guyana as a place to invest and uh, looking at in infrastructure uh, opportunities. 
We've worked very hard to encourage Canadian companies to come down here. We were very successful last year when we had our Minister of Trade, Minister Ng, who came down uh, to visit. And while she was here, she signed an MOU between, uh, on, she, on behalf of the Canadian Commercial Corporation and the Government of Guyana. Canadian Commercial Corporation is a government-to-government -government, uh, mechanism that allows for a Government of Canada guarantee on infrastructure projects. The MOU was a strategic MOU and we're working very hard to put that into, into action. Um, so we actually have uh, some very large Canadian companies that are looking to come down here. Some of our biggest construction companies are looking to come down. They have interest on an, in a number of areas. Um, and so they want to come down and talk with uh, senior members of government and, uh, and partners to look at the opportunities to invest. Definitely, definitely. I mean, you, you mentioned hydro. Canada has huge experience on, uh, in, in hydro, uh, in road construction, in deep water ports. We have companies uh, working across the Caribbean and building airports. So we have the experience and I want them to come here and play a role in, 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 the, in the building of Guyana. I think a couple of things that uh, needs to be underlined. One, obviously, is language, um, uh, the English, and also the legal system, because the legal system is based on the common law, as is Canada. And so there are uh, familiarities uh, for companies to come down. The parliamentary system, many of the agencies and the institutions are very similar. And in fact, Canada has worked very closely with many, many Guyanese uh, agencies and institutions. We've worked with the Attorney General, we've worked with the, uh, the Auditor General, we've worked with Statistics Guyana, um, we've worked in the education field, providing technical assistance. So, and, and it's, it's, it's quite seamless because it's, it's easy to do that. Um, but again, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that Canadians think that they, they know what Guyana is all about, and that's not the case. And then I repeat what I said at the beginning, they need to come down, they need to understand what it's like, they need to meet, they need to develop that relationship uh, with partners and understand what they're getting, uh, what they're getting into. I, th I want to ensure that Guyana doesn't take Canada for granted and that Canada doesn't take Guyana for granted. This is a new opportunity, a new time for Guyana and, and I want to ensure that, uh, that Canada is ready to take advantage of the opportunities and maintain the relationship. I think there's real opportunities and it's not just the Guyana market. If you're talking about CARICOM and Guyana developing as a source of a breadbasket, have you, if you will, for the CARICOM, you're talking about 60 million people plus tourists. It's a it's a sizable market. That's a very different equation than 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 you know just just Guyana for itself. And so I think that there is a real opportunity to promote that idea with Canadian. Canadian companies that are invest in food security. Food security is vital for Canada, it's also uh, a global issue for Canada and uh, an issue that they, they want to support uh, and so I think there's room for Canada and Guyana, Guyana to collaborate. Um, I would love the Minister of Agriculture to go to Canada and to, to meet with, uh, with the, the sector. Um, I would love to get more Canadian companies to come down and look at the opportunities here. There are most definitely opportunities and, and uh, I think the agri-food sector will only grow in Guyana. So I think it, it's a, 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 a real area where the two countries can collaborate. I wouldn't wait too long. <laughs> I, I think that uh, there is a significant amount of interest. Um, I think that there, there is opportunity. Guyana remains an attractive investment destination and is open to investment partners. We therefore encourage investors to explore the many opportunities that are available. Until next time, I am Vivekanand Rajkumar.